All right, guys, how's everybody doing? So today I'm doing a video on the Milleridge Inn. The Milleridge Inn is in Long Island, uh, an hour from Manhattan. If you're in Manhattan, you're taking the Whitestone or the Throgs Neck Bridge. You're heading out past Jones Beach even, and you wind up at the Miller, uh, Milleridge Inn. I have to see the name of the town it's in, but that's where you are. And uh, I go there once a year, sometimes multiple times a year. I've been going here, I don't know, since I guess I was a kid. What is interesting about this place or what I like about this place is it has this like village and uh, for Christmas it's always decorated and it's uh, set up. They usually have things to do for Christmas like a Santa Claus picture and a, uh, you know, a train and bounce castles and the whole village is like a old timey type of village you know with a candy shop and a bakery and a toy store and it's always decorated for christmas which is really nice but the main thing that i go to is the uh restaurant which it has two type of restaurants it has a banquet hall that's more for weddings and you know parties things like that and then it has the restaurant that i go to uh, like i said i go here once a year I was I actually didn't go this year just because of everything that's going on, but I go after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving comes, and then I wind up hitting this place for for uh, Christmas, and I want to go through the menu. Um, it's not a bad place to eat. I like to come here. Usually, when I come here, I get the prime rib. I'm going through their menu through the uh, lunch and dinner uh, menu. Now, when you get closer to Christmas, they have like a special Christmas menu. Uh, like I said, I'm here. Thanksgiving was on Thursday. I'm here on Sunday. It is um, still November, so they don't have like this specialty Christmas menu out. And I'm not even sure they're going to have it out this year. If you go through my other videos, I usually go in there right around Christmas. I'm usually here like the week before Christmas, two weeks before Christmas, and I get their specialty um, Christmas menu. Uh, prime rib, you know, they're charging you $48 for a uh, prime rib dinner, $60 king cut. I'm not even sure exactly what that is. If it was me, I'd probably go for the $48. And what happens is I will get like appetizers and I usually get a lot of side stuff. Um, sometimes I'll order, uh, depending on who I'm with, we'll get like a bunch of different plates and then I'll go for the dessert. Two people, you're looking at at least 150 bucks if you're going to have, you know, dinner and sides and drinks and all that. But it's good. It's an experience. At least for me, it was um, when I go. I know that um, things change over the years. I don't know if it's still the same owners, but it's definitely a place that I like to visit. And yeah, there's the, you know, I'm putting the website and the phone number and all that good stuff. What I've always noticed about this place, it always stands out, is uh, the people that come and eat in this restaurant, this particular restaurant that I'm showing the menu for now, uh, they always dress nice. They always get uh, dressed up. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking back to all the restaurants I went to, and I've been to a lot of different places. Um, I, it doesn't even pay it. And I'm, I'm thinking of Tavern on the Green, which is a place that used to be in Central Park. It was, it was this highfalutin place. Now, this other place I used to go to was called the Russian Tea Room. This was years ago. Again, I'm not even sure if it's the same Russian Tea Room as it is today. I don't remember people getting as dressed up as they do as when they come to the Milleridge Inn. Uh, it's just something that stands out. Uh, I remember just sitting out. I'm coming from the city, New York City. Usually when I come here to eat, I don't even know how, how do I dress. I'm the type of guy that will be like in blue jeans and a shirt. Uh, that's me, but these people would get, you know, really dressed up to go eat here. Um, anyway, that's something that stands out. So here's some of the things that are on the menu. Salad, kale, kale salad. Uh, people that I used to go with used to like this jumbo shrimp cocktail. I don't know why I'm trying to think. And they, there's another dish, which is like a jumbo uh, shrimp. It's a stuffed jumbo shrimp. That was another popular dish of people I would go here with. Um, there's a meatloaf and this pot roast that is supposed to be uh, fantastic. I'm try I don't think I've ever had that. Um, I've seen people that I was with that have ordered it and it looked good and they uh, praised about it. Uh, again, when I used to come here or when I come here, I haven't been here in a couple of years. Uh, is I usually go for the prime. I'm a prime rib guy. I'll get a prime rib. 
whatever that deal is. It's usually prime rib, but like a potato, a mashed potato, and like a vegetable, something along that line. And that's what I get. And yeah, it runs you like 50, 60 bucks. But this was a, 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 a big Christmas place. At least for me, it was. Now, what they do is Halloween, they do a big event. They do a big event for Christmas, and they do a big event for Easter, meaning that they have that whole village set up. It's a walkthrough. There's things going on. It's a haunted house. It's a Santa's village. Easter, I was there actually last year, and there was a, um, you know, a, a Easter, ra- you know, like a guy dressed up as a rabbit and an Easter egg hunt and all that type of stuff going on. So it does things like that. Uh, I like this place. I think I've always liked it. Uh, I guess because I've been coming here for so long, so it kind of uh, positive childhood memories, I guess is the best way to put it. But I figured I'd share it. And usually every year when I come here, the first thing I do is when I go to a restaurant, I ask them for a menu, and I'll get a menu, and I usually will scan the menu, and I just recently started to, uh, you know, post it. So you can go back through my other videos, and you can see the past Millerigin uh, menus and all that good stuff. And these are some of the pictures of the village. The village is fantastic. I love to walk through the village. You know, like I said, it's one of those old-timey type of uh, village uh, with the cookies and the candy shop and uh, that whole bit. Uh, there's a toy store in there, too. You can buy toys. You know, everything's a little... I don't know. Is it overpriced? I'm not sure. I bought a mug there, actually. I bought, like, a like a coffee mug, a big one. It was 2 bucks. I thought it was going to be more. It wasn't. It was $2. And I bought a Christmas Christmas ornament from the Christmas shop. They have a Christmas shop. I guess that was... I don't know what that was. Maybe it was like 5 10 bucks. So I guess it, it is what it is. It was fine. But it's definitely a place to visit. Definitely a place to go. A little bit different this year. You might want to call up or look on their website on how they're doing it. When I went this year, I had to kind of like make a reservation to go into the village. I just couldn't freely walk into the village. At least on the weekend. I don't know how they do it during the week. But I had to make a reservation, get a ticket, go through like a checkpoint type of thing. I got in and then I was walking around the village and doing my thing. So that is it. All right. Like, subscribe, and comment. Hope everybody's doing well. Everybody's staying safe. If you know anything more about the Miller Regina, or you come here to uh, eat or go to the village, leave a comment below because I love to read it. God bless you, and I will talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.